Welcome to the channel. Ryan Giggs has resigned as Wales manager with immediate effect. He's already stepped away from the role since November 2020 after being arrested. He was later charged with using controlling behaviour and assaulting his ex-girlfriend, charges which he's denied. Robert Page has actually stepped in and done an unbelievable job. He took over an interim charge and he's led him to the first World Cup since 1958. In a statement, Giggs said, after much consideration, I am standing down from my position as the manager of Wales men's national team with immediate effect. It's been an honour and a privilege to manage my country, but it's only right that the Welsh FA, the coaching staff and the players prepare for the tournament with certainty, clarification and without speculation around the position of their head coach. The Football Association of Wales released its own statement following Giggs' announcement. He said, The FAW places on record its gratitude to Ryan Giggs for his tenure of manager of the Cymru men's national team and appreciates the decision he's taken, which is in the best interest of Welsh football. The full view of the FAW and Cymru men's team uh, focus sorry, is on the FIFA World Cup in Qatar later this year. Obviously, uh, Page, as I say, has done an amazing job, and he was Giggs' assistant. He's been his assistant since August two thousand and nineteen, and he took and he took over matches from November twenty twenty, uh, leading Wales to the top spot in the Nations League group. He also deputised uh, for Giggs in March uh, twenty twenty one, as late as Wales kicked off their World Cup qualification campaign. They booked their place there by beating Ukraine. They'll play England, USA and Iran in Group B and they have got a chance of getting out of that group. I think if they can get past the United States, they might they might get out of that group in second. Uh, Giggs himself has pleaded not guilty to all the charges to controlling coercive behaviour against his, ex, his ex-girlfriend Kate uh, Greville between August 2017 and November 2020. He's also pleaded not guilty to assaulting her, causing her grievous bodily harm and common assault to her younger sister Emma at his home Worsley Greater Manchester on the 1st of November 2020. The trial was originally scheduled to take place last January but was postponed until August the 8th due to a lack of court space the trials set a to last a minimum of five days Giggs added I do not want the country's preparation for the World Cup to be affected destabilized or jeopardized in any way by the continued interest around the case I am sad that we cannot continue this journey together because I believe that the extraordinary group will make the country proud at our first World Cup since 1958 it's my intention to resume my managerial career at a later date so He's pled not guilty. We need to see what happens in court. But yeah, it's, uh, I think, probably the most sensible decision for everyone. You just don't need that type of speculation around, uh, you know, the World Cup. But if, we'll, if Wales can get out of the group, then I think that's that would be unbelievable. But yeah, we'll, we'll follow the case and we'll follow this story. But thanks a lot for watching.